Hello, my name is David Tierney, and I'm going to give you an overview of how to manage your WordPress website. Now we're starting off here in the dashboard. We're already logged in, and this is the first place you land when you log into your WordPress website. It's called the dashboard. And in the default installation of WordPress, and you may have additional things here in the dashboard, we've got a bunch of different what are called widgets here, and each widget can be opened and closed just as in other places in the website you'll find widgets by ticking these little arrows in the top right corner um, a widget according to WordPress is, is a small block that performs a specific function we'll find these also we call them widgets when they show up on the front end of your website which is what the people see when they visit your website and we call them that on the back end uh, we also call them widgets uh, on by default with WordPress you come up you have a, a, a widget that allows you to make a quick draft post to your website shows you some news this one's for activities this one's for at a glance the content that's on your website and if you have additional plugins in your website now a plugin is a way that you can add additional functionality or features to your website and you can add them over on the menu here uh, add new or you can view all the installed plugins here um, if you have additional plugins in, like a, a Google Analytics plugin that will show you the traffic that is uh, is coming to your website and where people are going to your website, you might actually have a, wi a widget that's added to your dashboard that might have a little graph and it might show you exactly what that traffic looks like. So you may have different widgets on your dashboard and that's where they come from. They would come from additional plugins that have been added to your website, adding additional features or functionalities. Uh, the second thing I want to show you is how to quickly and easily move from the admin area of your website to the public facing what's called the front end of your website. Up here at the left you can click on the word here or the, the visit site name. It takes you to the same place. It takes you to the home page of your website. And this is just a, a test website that I've installed. And so this is what our home page looks like. We've got three pages on this website. Here's a widget area on the front end of your website. This is a search bar, and it's a, it's a functionality that allows you to search, and it's been added to the sidebar, which is a very common place where widgets are added to websites uh, of this website. Uh, if you wanted to return back to the dashboard, you can go right back to where you did here and click here, and I'll take you right to the dashboard. It also has a couple of other options of places you can go in the admin area directly rather than go to the dashboard and then use the navigation to get to your widgets. You can just click widgets here. Also, very conveniently, if you're editing a page of your website, so we're on the home page, you can click on the edit page tab. That'll take you right in to be able to edit this particular page. So whatever page you're on, or if you're on a post, it'll say edit post. And we'll talk about the difference between posts and pages in a second. Um, so if we're on this page and we're, we want to navigate to the page we want to edit, we navigate in the navigation here, we find that page, we click it edit page. It'll take us right to the edit page screen for editing this page, which is very simple. It's called the edit page screen. Here's the title of the page, the home page, and here's the content of the page. Uh, and here are, these are the uh, text editor options for bolding, italicize, and all sorts of other options adding media like pictures and sound or videos and then when you're ready to update it you go over to this blue button and you click update and if you want to preview the changes before you update it, you can preview click preview changes it'll open up a separate tab and allow you to preview your changes that's a quick little update for a uh, quick little preview of what it's like to um, to edit a page that exists on your website we'll go ahead and return to the dashboard and we'll take a look at the menu in the left sidebar here. This, in the admin area, this is a standard menu that will appear for every WordPress installation. And just like with the widgets in the dashboard, you may have additional items here, depending if you've added additional functionality to your website. Um, but these are the default ones. And what we're going to run through are, are the basic ones that you'll need to know about as you're uh, getting started managing your WordPress website. So right underneath the title of each one of these, if this one's open up, we've clicked on dashboard, it shows us the subtopics here. If we put our cursor over any of these others, it'll show the subtopics pulled out here. So if you click on the word posts 
or the first item in the top subtopics, it'll take you to the same place. So you can always click here or click here. It'll take you to show you all the posts on your website. With media, you've got two options. You go to the library or you can add a new media. If you click here, it'll, it'll open up the library by default. Pages, all pages, it'll show you all the pages in a list and allow you to select one to go edit or it'll allow you to create a new one. The difference between pages and posts is that posts are connected to your blog. If you add a post uh, and your website is set up to have a blog or, or uses the functionality of the blog, then you'll have generally a, a blog page that, that has a short summary of each blog post in chronological order and then you click on the title and it takes you to a, a dedicated blog page for that one post. Uh, and pages are more static content for your website like your home page, your contact page, your about page, uh, things like that where it's not changing over time like uh, it doesn't show them in chronological order. You just go to that page, you edit that page if you need to but otherwise it generally stays the same. Um, so that's posts and pages. Those are the two main types of content that you'll have on your website are posts and pages. The third type of the most popular way to add content to your website is to add widgets and that's you would go to here to appearance and you would drop down to widgets and you would click here and that'll allow you to edit widgets if you have the desire to do that that's where you'll find it. If you want to edit your menus, it's right down here below that. It allows you to control. Uh, if we go back to the front page of the website, you can see here's our main menu. We've got three menus. If we added a new page to our website, then we would want to go to that menus tab, which is also confined from here, and it'll allow us to edit the menus that are on. So here's the menu for our home page. And uh, let's see. We can remove one of those. So anyway, so this is where you're going to edit your menus. We'll, we'll show you how to do this in a separate tutorial. So anyways, we'll go back to our dashboard. Yes, what you're going to get uh, pop-ups like that every now and then. If you're in the middle of editing, the WordPress website will recognize you're in the middle of editing and ask you if you want to do you want to leave the page because or do you want to save the changes you had before you leave the page it's actually a very useful uh, thing that happens so down here in the sidebar again we've, we talked about posts and pages if you want to look at the list of all the posts and pages here let's look at all the pages on this website home project sample page then we would go ahead and click on the name or again it's got some options when I put my cursor over the title and we can, if we select the, the title of it, it'll be the same as selecting the th first item in the submenus. This allows us to edit the page. So we can click on Home or Edit. It'll take us to the same place. And that's where we were looking at earlier, where we've got the page that allows us to see the title of the page and the content of the page. Um, so that's how you would find content that you would want to edit. Comments. If, if somebody makes a comment on your website, then you would be able to view the comments, edit the comments, uh, respond to the comments here. Appearance allows you to edit your themes, customize different, different parts of your website, uh, change widgets, edit widgets, menus. This particular theme has the ability to be able to add or manage a, a header. Plugins allows you to see all of the plugins that are installed on your website and add new ones. There's tons of plugins for pretty much any functionality you can think about. Uh, it's one of the wonderful things about WordPress is it's so prolific and expansive. Users allows you to add users to your website so that you can have somebody who's an editor and can only edit content but they can't change the administration of the website. You can have um, different levels of users in your website. This is, this is where you would add them or edit their profiles. Uh, settings are, is an area also you'd want to take a look at at some point but mostly you're going to be working with posts if you've got a blog area and other than that you'll mostly be working with pages and editing your pages so that is an overview of, of working with WordPress uh, please return back and watch the other tutorials that will will go in depth into some of these other areas of managing your website thank you very much